Hey guys, welcome back to Olive's Nails and Vlogs. Today I'm going to be showing you how I crimp my brush, unboxing this brush, and reviewing this brush, or this brush kit. So, first we're going to start by what you need if you want to crimp your brush. You need pliers, any type, small or big, whatever you have, any type of soap you want. I like this one, it's um, Dove Pink and it smells like roses, it's really good. You need um, some water, paper towel, and then of course your brush. So first, I'm gonna, we're gonna unbox this and then we're gonna crimp it. So I'm gonna be reviewing it, crimping it, and um, unboxing it, so yeah. This is from A and K Lydia. So yeah, A and K Lydia professional nail brush, and it's twenty two dollars off of Amazon. So first we have this one hundred out of one eighty um, nail filer. These are the really good ones too. So I'm pretty sure. That, never mind, yeah, so that's it. Then it comes with this um, designing nail brush. Then it comes with the nail brush. There's three different sizes you can get on Amazon. You can get an eight size, a 10 size, or a 14 size. And I got an eight, because it's the cheapest. So now that we have the brush out, we're going to crimp it. So first you need water, soap, and paper towel, and pliers. So we're just gonna open our bar of soap, and that's what you're, we're gonna use to crimp the brush. First you're gonna wanna take your pliers and just apply the tip of it so it's more flat and it doesn't have to be plied so much just enough to where it looks good there now we're done now you got to get it wet enough wet and then you're going to want to brush it across your bar of soap just like so just for a few seconds like a minute or so And when you think you're done, when you're finished with it, nope, you're not done yet. Still gotta keep going. You're training your brush to get crimped like almost a lot. So you're training it so you can keep it crimped and it's good. Sometimes I like to use eight I also am pretty sure I have like an eight, but I don't have anywhere that's so why I got a new brush. But I don't know where it is, so that's sad. My old acrylic brush that I used in my past videos, I don't know where it's at. Or well now I haven't done any videos. This is my first video. So yeah. But I used to have an old, older acrylic brush that was just like six dollars. It wasn't the best quality, and it would always get acrylic in it because I didn't take care of it the best. But then I started taking care of it better, but it was already kind of ruined. So, and the bristles were not good at all, and it wasn't hasn't been trained to get crimped before, so it was just wide. And that is a lot of soap there. I 
So you just want to keep doing it, this with the soap, back and forth, different motions. Like this. I like the smell of this one, so that's why I use this. That is a little too much water because you don't want it to be soapy. You want it to be like kind of wet, but you don't want it to be too wet or it's not going to turn out right. It's going to be too soapy. So, as you can tell, I accidentally put the soap in there while I was trying to crimp it, so I'm going to use less water now. There, that's much better. Now, once you've trained it enough, you're just going to want to make it the shape you want. Rinse it out. Squeeze it in the paper towel like this. One more time. Now you have your crimped brush. And if you want to, you can um, do this a little bit more with the pliers. But you don't want to do it too much because it can only go so far. So there. Now you have your crimped brush. Now we're going to test it out. So let me go get my acrylic stuff and we'll test it out and I'll show you how how it works. So let me just go fetch my acrylic real quick. We're gonna try my favorite clear acrylic. It's really good quality. Hold on a second guys. I'm doing a YouTube video. Sorry, that was my mom. But yeah, so we're gonna use that acrylic. Now I just need to get my monomer. Okay, now that we have my monomer, I just need to get my damping dish. Okay, so I got my damping dish and my monomer. Now we're gonna test out this brush. Okay. And I just got this monitor just a little while ago. So it's brand new. I think I put too much in there. So yeah, I guess I can't pull it back in. Oh well, okay. So now I'm gonna try it. I'm so excited. Good brush. So the acrylic comes off really nicely from the brush and it's really soft. And it picks up the acrylic in good beads too. Now let's try out in another color of acrylic. We can try 51 acrylic powder from Mode Loans, a purple color. And sometimes this acrylic will do that. I have no idea why. I just didn't probably get, hold it long enough on there. So that's sad. But anyways, I'm gonna just go ahead and do that real quick. There, that acrylic bead is amazing. Sorry, my sister's crazy. So, that's really pretty. Sorry if you hear my sisters in the background. That's gonna happen a lot because my family's crazy. And I didn't tell them I was doing a YouTube video, so. 
Now we're gonna try out a glitter acrylic. Sometimes glitter acrylics are tricky. So I'm using number 50 from Modalone Nails. Or just Modalone. It's not called Modalone Nails. But sometimes glitter acrylics are tricky because the glitter always stays somewhere. Wow, that bead is beautiful. Okay, so you can tell that there's a little bit of glitter on there, but there's only one piece that I see right now. So it's doing really great so far. And I also am gonna do my little cousin's nails um, this Sunday or tomorrow. So yeah, now we're gonna try one more before we end this video. Um, and as I would rate this brush, I would rate it a five out of 10. But actually, I might rate it an eight or a nine, I mean, a nine, because it does pick up quite small acrylic beads. But it's still great because kind of small acrylic beads like that size is perfect for nails. If, unless you're doing long nails, but still, I think it works really nicely with this acrylic brush. So I would rate this a nine out of 10, but actually, you know what? Just a 10 out of 10, straight up 10 out of 10, because this brush is amazing. I love it so much. Guys, you should definitely buy this brush if you want to, this is not sponsored. Go buy it from A and K Lydia Nails if you want to on Amazon because it comes the next day. Well, it did for me. I don't know if it will for you, but it came the next day for me. And yeah. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Come back for doing my nails one time, at least. We're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do a video about doing my own nails. So guys, bye guys.